So I'm delighted that I've managed to catch Bass Bloom at the Movement Disorder Society here. It's 2019 Bass. Um, you've just had probably one of the most significant papers on exercise uh, published in Parkinson's disease. Very important for our people with Parkinson's disease to know what that means. So what did your paper show? It was a paper where we used a gamification strategy to motivate people to start exercise, to comply with the exercise, and we rewarded them after the exercise with the aim of doing a home-based exercise intervention. Everybody knows exercise is important. Nobody does it. You can start it, but nobody complies. We showed that by using these clever gamification elements, people faithfully complied with three times a week exercise for 30 to 45 minutes at about 80% cardiac output. This is your maximum heart rate. And the results showed that three times a week for six months exercise stabilized the motor symptoms of the disease, whereas a control group that just did stretching exercises declined as you would expect in a progressive disease like Parkinson's. So, rough rule of thumb, how hard are you working at 80%? Can you hold a conversation? What would be something that our patients could aim for if they wanted to do this themselves? Now, this is very practical for all the folks with Parkinson's. My rule of thumb is you should be panting, but still be able to maintain a conversation. So people think they should work, you know, their you know what of, uh, and be sweating like a horse and gasping like a pig. Not necessary. Panting, but still be able to maintain a conversation. Some patients with Parkinson's find it difficult to drive up their heart rate. That's not scary, it's just a particular element of the disease. So training with your trainer, with your uh, workout trainer and tailoring your exercise to your heart rate may not be the wisest idea. Just panting, but still be able to maintain a conversation. Now, a lot of patients worry about the right exercise to do. Is there the right exercise or is some exercise better than nothing? No, we think that uh, any exercise that drives up your heart rate and makes you pant is good. So we used a stationary bicycle in our study for two reasons. A bicycle can be put in the patient's homes yep. um, and you can't fall off a bicycle in their own home, unlike a treadmill, for example. And then, of course, there is the miraculous observation of people with Parkinson's unable to walk, still able to ride a bicycle. But if you say, I hate a stationary bicycle, can I do running, can I do swimming? Anything that drives up your heart rate or makes you pant is good, as long as you do it at least three times a week. So we know that exercise is good. How good? I mean, there are some people out there who might believe that this will tell us that this could slow the disease. Is that what this paper is telling us? No, we've been very careful in interpreting our findings. On the one hand, there's the exciting work in rodents, that if you exercise a mouse with Parkinsonian signs on a daily basis, the mouse starts to make new connections in the brain. In our study, we showed that the symptoms stabilized, but that's not the same thing as a disease modification. So we think this helps to suppress the symptoms, just like a drug. I think and I hope with the patients that exercise could potentially slow down the progression, but this study doesn't prove it. It needs other designs and more work to actually prove that it modifies the disease. So is there any evidence out there at the moment that we can slow the disease with exercise or anything? Currently, there is no evidence whatsoever out there to show that exercise slows down the progression of the disease. There's a wealth of evidence, a growing wealth of evidence, that it works like a drug in suppressing the symptoms. So it's good for your motor symptoms, the mobility. It's probably good for your non-motor symptoms, sleep, mood, constipation. Whether or not it slows down the progression is an open question. There is hope, but it needs further work. Look, I think you've always been a very strong proponent of this and we're delighted that you managed to get this work published and we look forward to seeing much more like this. Thank you so much for taking the time. More than welcome.